recently we got a letter from some bloke asking us whether image stabilization really helps for video. And because we don't believe in simple yes or no answers, we thought we'd bring our three-legged friend along. She's called Dolly. What's more, he said that he wants to mount his camera onto the front of a car. What a mentalist. Today we'll be using this 2405mm f4L lens. It's got IS. Yes. And naturally, we're going to put it up against a Nikon. Not really. Today we'll be doing a rather unscientific test. We're going to be doing a lap right round the Science Park, Hong Kong. First off, we're going to start with a Sony Handycam. It's got a steady shot, so this will make a good benchmark for image stabilization. Then we're going to try the 550D with a 24-105mm lens with IS and without to see which one has the best IS for video. Let's go. And because we're a responsible company, we're thinking of safety first. Let's go. So we're going to be doing a timed lap, but it's not about winning or losing, as long as somebody wins. So let's get started with the Sony Handycam. Let's see how handy it really is. Three, two, one, go. There I go, running like a rabbit on speed. Around the first corner. There I go, like an old granny. And the follow through, not in my pants. It sounds like a crazy supermarket trolley. Holding on to the hat for dear life, because it costs all of $10. Will I bugger over? No. I'm cool. Round the last corner. Yes. Unfortunately, because this is a hard drive camcorder, it spazzes out every time it goes over a bump. So, unfortunately, we haven't got that much footage. Now it's time for the 550D, but we're going to try it without the stabilizer on. It's off. Roll your processor engines. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this way. I look like an old granny pushing a Zimmer frame with steroids. I meant the Zimmer frame is on steroids, not the old granny, of course. Run, Forrest, run! Unfortunately, somebody put super glue onto my hat. Stop worrying about the hat, mate. The camera's more expensive than that. Oh, guess what? No, no, no. Oh, wrong passage. Oh, you fell in. <laughs> oh, there. No. There you lost you there. Now with the image stabilization for the Canon lens, it's inbuilt into the lens. So it should provide horizontal and vertical image stabilization. But what about when you're pelting along at full speed? What will it be like? Let's find out. Hang on. This hat keeps falling off. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I can get an extras part from Baywatch. I'll cut the corner. Go on. Oh, going a bit wide here. Will I step on the cameraman's face? Oh, close. Ooh, see your pants. Come on, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for Christmas? You've got six months. Go on, run. Ah. <sighs> 
Let's have a look at how we did. The IS works all right on a fast moving dolly, but don't expect it to work wonders, especially as the IS is more geared towards photographic use. But how does it work with handheld video shooting? Right, because that wasn't a very good test, I'm going to do uh, another IS test. So how would a camcorder do with a nice panning shot? And it's quite stable. It's going on alongside the road. Now let's try the Canon lens with IS. Not bad actually. Then without IS, it's a bit wobbly. Her cycling's quite stable, but she's cheating. So the question is, how does an IS work when you're using it handheld? Well, it's currently at 105 millimeters now with the IS on. Let's try it with it turned off. So, to conclude, the IS is not very good when used on a dolly racing around a park. But if you want to use it handheld, it's alright.